Someone said the deadly sins don't leap on us, they creep on us. The deadly sins don't jump on us like a leopard would jump on us or a cheetah would jump on us, but they creep on us like how an ant would creep up on us or an insect will creep up on us. The story of David's adultery with Bathsheba did not begin in 2 Samuel chapter 11. In my opinion, it began in 1 Samuel 25. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to open along. There will be some important chapters that we look at. We look at 1 Samuel chapter 25. We look at 2 Samuel chapter 3. We look at 2 Samuel chapter 11. We look at 2 Samuel chapter 12. We'll also look at 2 Samuel 23. We will not have time to go through all the references. I know some of it will be displayed, some of it will not be, but I encourage you to read these chapters that I just mentioned. You know, the story began long back. That takes us first of all to the basking or backsliding David. My Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 25, 38 onwards, about 10 days later, the Lord stuck down Nabal. Nabal who? The husband of Abigail. Abigail who? The only Bible character who had two adjectives against her name simultaneously, beautiful and intelligent. Abigail was the only Bible character who had these two adjectives against her name, beautiful and intelligent. The husband of Abigail, Nabal, was struck down from the Lord, by the Lord. And the Bible says, David said, praise the Lord. Slowly backsliding. Down the line, he will not wait for God to strike down the husband of the beautiful woman he just saw. He will do it himself and say, praise the Lord again and marry that girl. Slowly backsliding. Slowly backsliding. David basks in the glory. David praises God, but he's slowly backsliding. David was already married at this point when he married Abigail. His wife, first wife, Milchal, Michal as she's called, was given to a man called Palti by his famous father-in-law, King Saul. 1 Samuel 15, 44. His first wife was given, snatched away from him and given to a man called Palti. So in, in effect, David was wifeless. But that's when, you know, according to some Bible scholars, David married a second woman named Ahinoam. Ahinoam, if you go through the cross references, 1 Samuel 14, 40, was the wife of King Saul. So Saul's wife became his wife. In effect, David married his mother-in-law. Again, a violation of a law of God given by Moses because Moses said through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 14 it, that verse forbade a man from marrying a mother-in-law but David broke God's law not a famous law like do not commit adultery but he broke a, 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 a law womb which we not we do not think about much Leviticus 20, 14, he married Ahinoam, who was perhaps the wife of King Saul. And now he marries the third woman. And wait for it, in 2 Samuel chapter 3, 2 to 5, in Hebron, you know, David hit, hit a, a six, like Yivrat Singh did, the, you know, several years ago, in 2007, Yivrat Singh, in the month of September, hit six sixes in a over. I was working in HSBC Global Resourcing, you know, being a tent maker, trying to start my ministry for the Google generation. You know, I quit in 2008, but, you know, I remember that night when we watched Yivrat Singh hit six sixes in a over. But if you go to the Word of God, if you go to 2 Samuel chapter 3, you read, talk, David went to Hebron and he married six different women there. He hit a six. He broke God's law in Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 17, which says, a king must not multiply his wives. But David multiplied his wives. David was slowly backsliding. This morning, is there some area, you might think it's a small area in which you're disobeying God. It's a small sin, a chota pap, chinna pavam. Do you excuse that small sin in your life? Maybe the temptation to fudge bills, medical bills in your corporate company to save on income tax. But the, as the great hymn writer said, yield not to temptation for yielding is sin. Each victory 
will help you, some others to win. Every temptation we beat, small temptation or big temptation, you know, that gives us power when the big temptation comes. When we beat the temptation to fudge medical bills in our corporate company, then we will also have power not to budge when our boss, male or female, calls us to an adulterous sexual relationship. Let's hit the rewind button on the most talked about event in the life of the most talked about fully human character in the Bible, David. Second, battling David.